viewers, sorry this video is a little late. It's actually, I think, after just after midnight on Saturday now. And yeah, it's been a crazy couple of days for me, so I haven't really had time to make this video until now. So traveling. I've done a lot of traveling in my day. Like like James, I was also a military brat, but my dad was in the United States Army, not the U United Kingdom's Army. So we got to go to quite a few cool places, because, you know, the United States likes to have bases everywhere. But I also went to Germany. I lived in Germany for four years. I also lived in... Puerto Rico for three years, and then I lived in Texas, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, and now Florida. I think that's all of them. Oh, and I was born in Louisiana. And besides that, I've done a lot more other traveling. Like, when we lived in Germany, I know we went and saw Italy and Paris. Though I don't remember that because I was only like three years old at the time. I just recently went to New York. Uh, I've been meaning to do a video about that. Well, I did. I did a video for the book expo part of New York, but I'm going to make another video for the New York part of New York. Even though I don't really get to see that much of New York, I do have some footage that I think can make it into a video. Maybe I'll put a few of that in now or while I've been talking. I lived in the UK for four months back when I was studying abroad during college. Um, that was probably my most memorable and most cherished experience, my favorite place that I've gone, and that's because it's one of the first places, or actually one of the only places that I've ever really, like, really felt like myself while I was there. Like, I, I lived the way I wanted to live, and like, I don't know. I was so much more motivated there, motivated to get things done, and I was just happier there than I have been most other places I've lived and which is weird because when I went to the UK I had I was just getting over a breakup so you'd think I'd have been depressed the whole time but I don't know I credit I credit the UK with helping me get over my breakup really really quickly and really cleanly so I guess I just feel like I have a special connection to that to the United Kingdom for that reason yeah so travel can do that travel can Getting away from things that you know can really like put things in perspective for you and make bad things in your life not seem as bad. And so yeah, I think I think that's my favorite thing about travel is that it really it makes you feel like a different person. And a lot of times when you're away from where you're used to, you become the person that you really want to be. But yeah, I really want to travel. If I could have, if I could live my life exactly how I wanted to, and money wasn't an issue, I would be going to a new place every month because that's how much I love travel and I would see the world by the time I was 30. As far as places I really want to go that haven't, haven't been, Spain has always been at the top of my list. I've always wanted to see Barcelona especially and and um, wherever the Alhambra Palace is. I think it's in like Granada. I think it's definitely on the southern tip but I really want to see the Alhambra Palace and and, and Gaudi's architectural stuff in Barcelona. Um, I want to go back to Italy because I obviously don't remember anything about what I saw in Italy because I was like three years old. I want to see Venice. I want to see Rome and the Vatican. Even though I'm not Catholic anymore, I still really want to see the Vatican. Uh, Florence. I really want to see Florence. Lately I've also really been wanting to go to Amsterdam and New Zealand and Australia. And right now I feel like if I could go anywhere the next few years it would be New Zealand because I kind of want to try to run into the people who are filming The Hobbit. Oh my gosh, the fact that it's going on. Yeah, I just really want to be there right now. I just really want to be because that's where all the cool people are. 